experiment is the design and construct a symmetrical circuit using a plan for the given UTP and NTP values and demonstrated circuit. The circuit diagram is as follows. Use an IC741. The number 2 is connected to a positive or signal generator. A negative or signal generator is grounded. From the number 3 resistor R1 is connected and the other end of R1 is connected to positive of the battery. A negative of the battery is grounded. A resistor R2 is connected across pin number 3 and pin number 6. Pin number 4 is connected to minus PCC, where minus PCC is minus 12 volts. Pin number 7 is connected to plus PCC, where plus PCC is plus 12 volts. Pin number 6 is connected to the output. Now let us calculate the value of R2 and B reference. Uh, UTP and LTP values will be given, where UTP is 4 volts and LTP is minus 4 volts. UTP is the upper threshold point and LTP is the lower threshold point. And the formula is as follows. UTP plus LTP equals 2 R1 divided by R1 plus R2 will be reference. UTP minus LTP equals 2 R1 divided by R1 plus R2 will be sat. Using this formula we will be calculating the value of V reference. And using this formula we will be calculating the value of R2. Now let us calculate the value of V sat. V sat is 90% of V sat. Where VCC is plus 12 volts. Let us substitute the values and find out the value of VSAT. VSAT is 90% of VCC. So VCC is 12 volts. So we obtain the value of VSAT as 10.8 volts. Now let us calculate the value of R2. Now we will obtain the value of R2 as 1.70 ohms. Using R2 let us calculate the value of V reference. Here P reference will be 0 because of UTP and LTP values being 4 and minus 4 respectively. Now let us see the connections. An IC mu A741 is connected to the breadboard. From pin number 3, resistor 2.2 uh, kilo ohm is connected. Uh, since 1.7 kilo ohm resistor is not available, we are connecting 2.2 kilo ohm resistor from pin number 3 to pin number 6. Another resistor uh, R1, 1 kilo ohm is connected from pin number 3 to ground. Pin number 4 is connected to minus 12 VCC. Pin number 7 is connected to plus 12 VCC. And pin number 2 is connected to the functional generator. Pin number 6 is connected to the CRO. Now let us see the initial setup. A probe is connected to functional generator. Another probe is connected to channel 1 of the CRO. Let us short positive of both the probes. And negative of both the probes. And set the CRO. Set the frequency to 1 kilohertz. And VTP to 20. To obtain a sine wave. 
Now press the GD button and set this line on the X axis. And release the GD button. Now let us set the sine wave to 10 volt peak to peak. Set the amplitude to 2.5 on both positive of the x-axis and negative of the x-axis. Set the voltage to 2 volts. 2.5 units on the positive of the x-axis and 2.5 units on the negative of the x-axis gives us 5 units. 5 units into 2 volts gives us 10 volts peak to peak. Now let us connect pin number 2 to positive probe of the signal generator. And negative is grounded and negative is grounded channel 1 is connected to pin number 2 positive is connected and negative is grounded Use an other probe for channel 2. And positive of this probe is connected to 6 pin. And negative is grounded. Pin number 4 is connected to minus 12 VCC pin number 7 is connected to plus 12 VCC connected to ground. Now let us see the output. A square waveform is generated. The square waveform is cutting the sine wave at a certain point. That point lies at around 2.1. So 2.1 into 2 gives us 4.2 which is approximately the given UTP value 4. Similarly, calculate the LTP value by moving the Y position. Now let us see the hysteresis curve. Press the XY button. This is the hysteresis curve. As you can see, two units above the x-axis are covered. So 2 into 2 volts gives us 4 volts, which is the UTP value. And almost 2 units is covered below the x-axis, which is two in, minus 2 into 2, gives us the LTP value minus 4 volts. To get the vertical angle of the hysteresis curve, let us interchange the probes.
press the xy button this is the vertical hysteresis curve on positive side of the x axis two units is covered so that gives us the utp value which is 2 into 2 volts 4 volts and negative side of the x axis two units are covered which is minus 2 into 2 minus 4 volts which gives us the ltp value